Welcome to Konaha Crush, a clandestine effort to exhaustively research and document events occurring in and around the village hidden in the leaves. I'm Ruby. I'm Gwen. Hi. Hi, here we are again. We're going to talk about fucking Naruto again. We're going to talk about like maybe some other shit first if we've been up to anything. But like, you know, predominantly this is a Naruto podcast still. Yeah, mostly this is about Naruto. Yeah. I don't know. Have you been up to anything this week? Oh, God. Um, kind of. I started reading more Yuri manga again. Mm-hmm. It's been a bit. Yeah, it's been a bit. I, you know, I kind of, I kind of burnt myself out on it, and you know, I, I took a little bit of a break. Mm-hmm. Well, and I never really took a break. You don't I was, like keeping up on stuff in the background. You just weren't like churning through like everything you could find or whatever. Yeah, but um, I'm 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 back on my bullshit. Like I read through like a whole comic. Oh my God, do you want to talk about it? All of. What is available so far of a whole comic. You know what I mean? It's ongoing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, I read the uh, the magical revolution of the reincarnated, reincarnated princess and the genius young lady is, I think, the full title. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 good. It's good. I liked it. I remember you talking a little bit about this earlier, but like, what, what do you want to say about here on the podcast? Yeah, I mentioned it. It's, um, uh, ah, ooh, um, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know that I have anything to say necessarily. I mean, unless you like, you know, hey, if you like fantasy stuff and like girls who like girls. Who doesn't? If you listen yeah, who, to this fucking show. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you, if you listen to this fucking podcast, like who fucking doesn't, right? Like, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's worth checking out. Like it's getting an anime ad- adaptation sometime right yeah 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 and just uh the 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 light novels are also being released in english uh now so too so that's really pick your like intake method with this one yeah you can really you can really just choose whatever you want here huh yeah but uh but yeah what have what have you been up to um god i i don't know. i feel like i've been like a little bit all over the place this week i feel like i'm like on the verge of like starting some shit i'm on the verge of like kept, like getting back into some stuff i'm doing but i'm not really like making a ton of headway into most of it but i did start watching uh avatar of sentai Don brothers which is okay. the currently airing super sentai series um i don't have like a ton of experience uh with super sentai previously i like watched the one that aired before this um just like as a matter of curiosity i like, had a pretty fun time with it mm-hmm. that was like by the the one that aired before Don Brothers, but yes, like the one that aired before this, uh, Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger is like, you, you know, by, by all accounts, it's like I mean, this is a pretty standard one of these. You know, you've got your like, you've got your team that meets in a more or less normal way and like assembles in a normal fashion, and they like fight guys or whatever. And then so like I finished watching, it, I had a good time. I was like, okay, I probably want like a little bit of like a Super Sentai break. You know, maybe I'll like pick up the next one if it's like good or whatever. Like once I hear more about it, and then like. There's like 40 episodes out of it now, and I, I it has been like an experience of like 40 weeks of seeing everybody go like, yeah, this one fucking whips. Uh, and so I like finally decided to pick it up, and it's like, it's like a little bit insane. Okay, should I watch it? Um, I mean, I, I, you could have fun watching it. I, I, I think it is a pretty good time. I think it's like, it's just a. Uh, it's one of those shows, like sort of like a proud tradition of like a certain kind of like Japanese kids show, where like they just kind of put a bunch of weirdos on screen and then like let the drama arise from there, rather than like try to construct something like a little bit more like understandably like basic. I don't know if I'm making a lot of sense, but it's just like everybody in it is like more or less a freak. One of the guys is like allergic to money or at least claims to be and uh just sort of like wanders his way through life and like refuses to ask any questions about how he's like surviving while being allergic to money um the the the, like red ranger of the series is a guy who like he he's like a um like a momotaro kind of themed guy he was like found in like a weird like plasticky peach floating down the river and like he has been perfect at everything his entire life and uh has like very little ability to just like not go and like go up to anybody and be like hey i know i do think you're doing better than you and, like to the point where like at the age of six he had like people outside of his apartment like protesting and asking him to leave because they were all so annoyed about him um that's it's, beautiful <laughs> yeah it's like 
having only watched one previous Sentai series, I sort of like went in with the assumption that like the team would know each other and know that they were on the team together, but they kind of like don't. And like, so the, the, the parts where they're like fighting monsters together and like interacting in their day-to-day lives are sort of like, it just happened to coincidentally overlap, but like only some of them know that they're actually like fighting monsters together. And it's just this, like, escalating series of, like, weird coincidences of these people, like, running into each other without, like, actually figuring out their deal. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's kind of beautiful. It's, like... I don't know, I, I, I feel... I'm oh, sorry, go. No, I was just gonna say, that, like, that's super exciting. What, 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 what makes you say that? Because I want to watch it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, like, really fun. Like, I don't know, if you, maybe you want to, like, maybe, like, want to watch them together or whatever, we could watch them together, but, uh... Yeah, oh my god, we totally should. Oh my god, okay. You know, I, I, I'm just, like, ha- really having a blast with it. Uh, it's, like, great to watch just, like, a... You know, like, what I'm saying, it's, like, a a weird television program. I want to be very clear. I'm not being like, oh, yeah, this is just some, like, weird Japanese shit. I, just, I think this is a very, like, consciously, like, kind of playing against type and expectation and just being, like, abashedly, like, strange and, like, bucking against expectation. Like, there's an episode where, like, the, the Red Ranger, like in his attempts to encourage somebody, just, like, keeps making them more and more miserable until they turn into the monster of the week. It's, it's that sort of thing, you know? Mm-hmm. All right, great. Well, is is that all you want to talk about before before we get going? Um, yeah, I guess that's basically it. I feel like I didn't do, like, the best job of, like, pitching that or whatever, but you seemed interested, so, like, maybe I, maybe I did an all right job. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's 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 how it goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's get let's get to the episodes. Okay, let's get to the episodes. Okay. Episode 127, Vengeful Strike, The Bracken Dance. Kimimaro rushes Gara and tackles him through a wall of sand. Lee tries to take advantage of the distracted enemy, but gets sent flying with a tail swipe. Lee realizes he's not really fit to fight in this state, and Kimimaro turns his spine into a sick chain sword to wrap Gara up. Kabuto and Orochimaru muse about how Kimimaru is the last of his clan, and definitely about to die soon. Kimimaru shatters a big bone lance against Gara's strongest sand shield, and swears that even though he's going to die today, he intends to live on as part of Orochimaru's ambition. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's so like, right off the top of the bat, like, right at the start of this episode, like, I, I, I went with, like, kind of uncertain expectations. There's, like, a, you know, first time on this show, like, storyboard director who's, like, going to be around for, like, the rest of, like, this initial run of Naruto. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's, like, an animation director I, I hadn't seen before. So I, I was, like, a little unsure of what to expect. And, like, I, I was kind of thrown because, like, top of this episode, there's, like, this really fun sequence of, like, Kimimaru in his new form sort of, like, charging towards Gara, And it's just got this kind of, like, rough-hewn kind of, like, uh, you know, like, very distinct quality to it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's, like, very funny. He, he, he's, like, flying through Gara's sand, and, like, the, the motions are, like, not the, like... They're not the most fluid, but they're all, like, very, like, distinctive and characterful, and, like, you know, it, it's, uh... It, it was really striking, and unfortunately, the rest of the episode doesn't really look like that at all. Um, like, that that, that that scene is by uh, Sutomo Oshiro, um, who, who's gonna be around in Naruto for a while, like, following this. This, this is, like, his, like, first episode credit on, on the show as well, but, um... The, the rest of the episode is much more, like standard and kind of flat unfortunately yeah uh, like, like you know he K- K- like rushes in like tackles gara and sends him flying and then like immediately after that like lee jumps in to try and like get into the fight and then it's like oh, this is actually just sort of weightless um and lately he's kind of like knocked back and he's like oh shit well i i guess i have to like sit out of this fight this one isn't actually mine which is like uh, only really a bummer in the sense that like thinking about like i don't really think league it's like another big fight ever again mm-hmm like this arc is like e- e- even though like they're all alive, um, k- kind of like the last hurrah for like all of the like various Genin characters in it, right? Um, that aren't like Naruto, obviously, and like Shikamaru isn't Genin anymore. So and, and also he's like the he he he's the guy who gets to like have, uh, but he he's the guy who gets to keep being around, you know. He's uh, mm-hmm. he gets that privilege by being really annoying, I guess. Um, God, Shikamaru is awful. Right, I mean, I, I hope that, like, when we get to the the, the big Shikamaru and, like, Shibuden, like, he is, uh, better. Yeah, because I mean, I just, like... I've been, like, I mean, we had a whole episode about this, basically, but I'm just so involved with the guy this time around. Yeah, I mean, like, f- fingers crossed, but I'm not holding my breath, right? 
Yeah, I mean, like, the thing about that episode is it does have, like, two Toshiki Suru episodes in, like, really close capacity. So at the very least, it's going to, like, look pretty good a lot of the time. But Okay. Uh, well, as long as it has something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. I mean, like a lot of the action in this episode is like pretty weak. Like, like he said, like Kimura pulls out his like cool like whip spine sword or whatever, but like it just sort of like really lazily wraps around like Gara's uh, sand shield, and it's like okay, well I guess this is a, uh, hey I guess it's the level we're operating on. You know, we're we're getting mm-hmm. the images that are in the manga, and it doesn't look that exciting, unfortunately. Yeah, I was really disappointed. Like he just wraps it around Gara right away, and then does nothing else with it until he dies. Right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, and we we cut back to uh, Kabuto and Rochimaru like talking about like how uh, imminently dead Kimimaru is. You know, Th- there's this like sort of weird quality to the scene where like this is very directly adapting the conversation that like a lot of the flashback stuff from Kimimaru in the previous episode was pulling from. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and like because that flashback established that Orochimaru was just there, there's this very like. <laughs> Strange into like Kabuto just like explaining this event in Orochimaru's life to him. And like I don't know if he knows that Orochimaru is there or not if Orochimaru thinks it's like funny to have like Kabuto like explain the shit he already knows as if it's like actual research that he's done or what. But like I don't know, like Kabuto's just a guy that loves explaining shit to people, right? Like let him let him fucking live. Yeah, no, this is true. This is true. You know, they they're like at least for this moment, they're still, like, hyping Kimimaru up a little bit. Like, obviously, they're like, oh, yeah, he's going to die soon. But, like, don't worry. Nobody can defeat him. And, uh, you know, then we cut back to Kimimaru and Gara fighting. And it's, like, again, not a very impressive showing, right? Like, we talked about the, the whip sword being pretty lame. And then, like, Gara's like, here's my new, even more ultimate defense. I'm going to make, like, a big sand tanuki. Mm-hmm. And I'm not really sure what's, like up with this as like i mean like it works right because kimimaro decides to like just punch right through it or yeah. like try to but like if kimimaro decided to like run to the side first w- would he just be able to get around to it like i i, I don't know how fast this big santaniki could move right like it's reinforced to be this like super solid thing with like the minerals and the sand or whatever um yeah though i I'd, I'd I'd like to see him try and just the tanuki just like is just like locked onto its position, right? Oh it's my like God. a yeah, it's like a fucking it's like in a fucking video game or something, right? Where it's just like it it is just pointed at you, and mm-hmm. it and and you know it there's no getting around it. And it's it's like a it it leads to like another one of those moments where like. It's it really feels like sometimes uh sometimes adapting like these manga chapters out into like an episode is kind of a thankless task. Like the the chapters this one is adapting are just not very dense, right? So we have the moment of like you know, in the manga when Kimura like tries to punch the big sand nuke, he like hits it and then like the thing like breaks in like the next page. Right? I think it's like the like there's a chapter turnover between those or whatever. Um yeah. but here it's just like Kimura is just kinda of, like pushing at it for a solid minute. Um just standing there. As we get like these like loud like sand rushing sounds for the entire time, and then and then it breaks, and it's like okay, well, it's so bad. It's it's ca- kind of a pathetic showing. I, I don't know. Like it, it feels uh <laughs> feels really underwhelming after how much Richard was hyping him up just moments ago. Yeah, right. And if it was just like a big swing, mm-hmm. and then it just like shattered against the thing, like that's yeah, that's like one thing, right? But it's like that's that's one thing. But if you're like. If you're going at it like it's the world's most stationary drill. Uh-huh. Right. Because he's treating like a drill, but that shit's not spinning. <laughs> yeah. It's it's just rough. It's just rough. It's rough. Because mm-hmm. it, it, it doesn't feel like oh, it's like a moment fight. It's like this is the thing that he's like committed to doing until like... Mm-hmm. You know, he, he goes like even more like super like powerful sicko when like he, he you know, like in the next part of the episode yeah like th- th- this is his thing and it's like it's just kind of pathetic i wish i wish they just drew him moving more yeah i mean this seems like maybe like a satomo oshiro scene aside may- maybe not really an episode where we get a lot of that unfortunately D- didn't really line up in his benefit this time yeah which fucking sucks because like this is the episode where he like dies 
Right. Yeah. No. Th- this is definitely like. I mean, I think we'll probably like, get like we'll probably get into this a little more like into like second half of the episode where he dies. But like, I, I feel like this is definitely an episode where it's like. I, I think a lot of like the potential dramatic weight of the moment is just kind of like deflated by the fact that this episode doesn't look very good. Yeah. Like if you're going to make an episode with this guy look good, it should have been this one. <laughs> Fucking tragedy. Yeah, and we, we do get like one more like bonus, uh, like Kimimaru flashback scene, right? Uh, mm-hmm. here, here in this half where we, we see, we see like a Rochimaru giving him this out for, and he's like, Hey, King Mark, I think you're fucking pretty cool. You, you want some want some boys? You want some boys to work out with you? Uh King Mar's like, yeah, okay. And then they're all like, fuck you, King Mara, we're gonna kick your ass. <laughs> uh, they don't. <laughs> yeah, and then they don't. Which is it's just like this beautiful side of like, oh yeah, I guess, I guess like the higher I can get a Rochimaru is like there's a Rochimaru and there's like everybody else, and he just kinda like leaves it to you to figure it out, you know? Yeah. Like obviously he has his most special boys that he's like rooting for, but like you know, he, he he's gonna let them figure that out on their own, and if like maybe his special boy is like a little overwhelmed and not especially thought, like I mean, you know, that's that's sad, but he'll get over it, and uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, these these these, these things happen, mm-hmm. and if everybody just learns to like fear and respect your like extra special boy, then, like I mean, that's probably pretty good too. Um, yeah, there, there definitely is this, like oh yeah, like the, the rest of the side before, like you know, they like kind of like know each other. They're not like friends, maybe, but like you know, they they'll at least like. They, they all just, like rib on each other a little bit. And, like it seems like Kimaru basically just like I mean we we saw this when he was like yeah okay I'm gonna come back and kill you later tell you you want to like go and handle the shit you fucked up. But like <laughs> he does not respect these people at all. No, not one bit. It's amazing. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, yeah. God, I wish I wish I had a bunch of underlings to beat up. <laughs> Do you? No. Okay. I wish I had underlings. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool to have underlings, like I guess, yeah. You know, like, like I don't know. I could, I could be like, go out on big missions and go like, yeah, you guys, you guys did so well. I'm gonna go treat you to some ice cream. Okay. And so then, you, you... and then I'd buy everyone ice cream, and we would all be very happy and friends. Okay. All right. Yeah. Pretty, pretty different vibe than what we've got going on here. Yeah, but like you know, we'd we'd also like train and stuff. Mm-hmm. God, I just. I just want a bunch of fucking boys to train with, is what I'm basically saying. Yeah. Okay. I mean, who who doesn't? That's the dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, babe, you want to be in my squad? I'd love to be in your squad. I don't know if I'm really looking for like an underling kind of thing, but right, like, right. You know, we can. Well, be, it could we... be it could be you and me and the underlings, right? Like, you know. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I wouldn't fucking delegate you to underling. Are you kidding me? That's good, that's good. I wouldn't want to be You'd underling. kick my ass. <laughs> I would, thank you for acknowledging this. Well, I mean, you'd try. It would be a fight, but like, you know. I think I'd kick your ass. Depending on the day. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> see how it goes. I don't know, I got, I, got, I got some new techniques, you know? Exciting, exciting. Yeah, I got, I got some shit to break out for like a rival fight. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, do, do we have much more to say about this half of the episode? We, 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 we've been we've been got, got off on a little, like a little bit of a tangent, which isn't to say like fuck you for doing that. I just you know I want to well, fuck you for stopping me. Yeah, okay, let's okay. move on. I mean, I, I don't want to just keep going like reveal all your techniques. I want to be like surprised by someone when I fight you. No, no, I, I I know I know I'm just ribbing you. It's a little bit okay. of a it, it's kind of a it's kind of a squad make ribbing. Okay, all right, all right. As long as it's just that, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gara buries Kimimaro deep in the earth. But Kimimaro sends out a bunch of bone spikes from underground. Kimimaro regrets not being able to participate in the attack on the leaf due to his illness, and is driven by his loyalty to Orochimaru to lash out one last time. His body sprouts from a bone spire behind the boys after they lower their guard. His bone lands just inches from killing Gara when it suddenly stops at Kimimaro's death. Gara is shaken up from just surviving, due to luck, but Lee reassures him with something he heard from Guy. Gara connects Lee's relationship with Guy to that of Kimimaro and Orochimaru, and wonders if having an evil dad is better than having no dad at all. I think, like at the top of this, uh, is that the episode? We we have another one of like really great. Like Gara is trying to be like a little bit nicer, but he's not really like you know he he he's not really on like a shoulder protagonist level or anything, right? Like I, I love when he's like he, he, you know he's uh, he he sees like Kimimaro like talking about like. 
you know, his whole thing about like li- going to like live on his part of Rich Mars ambition and like, you know, all, all of that. And he's like, oh, huh. He like, he like really fucked with you, huh? Well, I, I guess I can't help you there. Go in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love this boy. I love this boy so much. Gar is so powerful. There are people in this world who could like see Kimimaro and like have like a moment about it. Like I don't know if they can get through to him, but like they could they could be like more directly like fucked up about the specific like emotional thing going on here. Gar's like, oh huh, that that sucks for you. I'm sorry. I, I don't really like I don't really have the tools to deal with this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put you underground. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put you in the earth, okay? Yeah. Uh, have have a nice have have a nice nap. Bye. <laughs> You can live in the rocks. You can die in the rocks. Yeah. That's it's great. I love Gara. I love Gara so much. <laughs> like, you know, it's 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 sad that nobody's there for Kimimaro on some level. But uh I I I can't complain about Gara being a little weirdo. I just I just can't. No, and like if you if you did, I would have to like run some imposter checks. Mm-hmm. I would have to like, you know, what about that secret code we came up with? Yeah, you have to, like, punch me really hard, and then, like, I, I would, like, revert to, like, whatever guy I was that was disguising themselves as Ruby, and, uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be a whole thing. Yeah, and then I'd fucking kill them dead. Oh my god. After wow. I found, after I found out what, what you know, what, what, mm-hmm. what, what happened to you, right? Like, I, I don't know, like, I'd, I'd probably do some interrogating or something first. Like, like even if it was just, like, a prank? Okay, well, if it was a prank, it would, you know, it would come to light in the interrogation. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. I guess so. It's not like a like a unconditional just killing them dead. It's like, you know, if it, if it, if it feels right, like the right thing to do, if the vibes are right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm just going to say, if you were, like, seriously kidnapped and in danger, like, I would definitely go all John Wick about it. Okay. Oh my god, that's so sweet of you. Yeah. I love you so much. I love you too. I could definitely kill lots of guys. Oh my god. I mean, like, I hope you don't have to. I hope you're not put in that situation. It seems pretty unpleasant for, like, both of us. But, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, then like, if I, and then if I get overwhelmed, you can, like, have been, like, breaking your own way out this, the, the, the whole time. And so we, like, meet in the middle and have one big fight together. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. And then we, like, make out. Yeah, of course. Come on now. <sighs> Kimimaro isn't like about to be killed by anything that Garo does. Like he he doesn't really have any like good answers to making a big Santanuki, but like he he's also not gonna get like crushed to death. This has been pretty well established by now. Um before he comes back, I feel like remembers like you know, the the time that led up to him falling ill, which is like basically just this like rundown of like everybody that Orochimaru killed in the tuning exams and like Kimimaru is also standing there with like Orochimaru and Kabuto and they're like hell yeah this owns <laughs> I love it's, doing evil shit together it's so good how it's just like stuff we know that like Orochimaru like had to have done or like ha- had to like have had done right and just like Kimimaru is standing around while it happens uh-huh. <laughs> it's so good it's just like yeah I was here the whole time <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and it's like it, it has the fucking like he, he, here's the like sad piano music playing so, so you know it's like it's like an emotional thing for him that he like failed but it's also like or like that, that he like fell ill before this could like all be carried out before he could like kill the Turokage with the Rochimaru together yeah. Um, but it's also like, you know, he, he, he's just like standing there being party to like all of the like, oh, this is the like evil, scary shit that Orochimaru was doing behind the scenes in like a previous arc. And it's just kind of beautiful. It's really fucking strong. I love this boy so much. Yeah, he really deserves better, huh? Yeah. Like, you know, none of this stuff, like, I, I can't fucking believe Masashi Kishijimoto just fucking tossed him in the garbage like this. But like, you know, it's, it's sad. It's sad that, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, like, terminal bone disease or whatever isn't something I can just, like, rush in and rescue a kid from. Yeah, terminal bone disease and also, like, just rolling really bad on the dad lottery. Rolled so bad on the dad lottery. Oh my god. Like, any other dad. And any other dad, right? Because, like, y- y- you know, like, we-, we-, we keep, like, cutting back and forth to, like... Um, like Orochimaru and Kabuto, like the fight here, as they're like just like standing around, like watching a uh, like a candle burn down. 
And, there, and like, and Rochibar is just like, oh my god, I'm like sick of waiting. I, I, I wish Sasuke was just fucking here already. I don't know what's taking Kimimura so long. Like, I, I, it's just like so fucking annoying when you're like, you, you, when you're like waiting for something, you don't feel like you can do anything else. Like, I, I could be making this body look more like, like, I want my body to look, but I, I just have to fucking sit here, wait for Sasuke to show up. Cause like, I'm, I'm not gonna get started on doing something. What if I'm like, what if I'm dying my hair and like Sasuke comes up and I, I'm not there to like welcome him? That'd be weird. And Kabuto's like, yeah, I mean, Orochimaru, that's just kind of witty. Like, Orochimaru's like, shut the fuck up, Kabuto. <laughs> Don't patronize me. Don't you dare fucking talk to me like that, Kabuto. Like, 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 like by the time that, like, Kimimaru is, like, dead, he's just so, like, like, like with the candle, like, symbolically burns out. He's like, oh, okay, well, oh, well, there's other boys. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Orochimaru is such a bad dad. <laughs> he sucks. God. Uh fantastic uncle mm-hmm. terrible dad terrible dad you know like, we, we had the discussion like a few weeks ago about like oh like how, like how, how, what does like a really feel like is there some like actual sadness there and, like i don't know like maybe there was i guess but it seems like he gets over it pretty fast yeah yeah but, like you know kim Mario isn't really like party to that he doesn't really like he, you know he's not really in a position to uh to deal with all that as he's like dying and like turning the world around him into spikes um i love the bone forest yeah <laughs> yeah the bone forest is really cool yeah that's like another of those things where we talk about like oh gara like fucked up this environment like maybe he can fix it nobody's fucking fixing the bone forest <laughs> no it's like awesome it's like a landmark now I, I i hope it is i hope the bone forest is like still there like by the time of forest so i don't know if anybody ever goes to the bone forest but it's like it's just kind of sick <laughs> yeah it's like a bone forest but then one of the spires just has like a like the top have a skeleton hanging off of it. God. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Do you think he still has this, like some durable bone layer as part of him when that's happening? Oh god, yeah. It's like a really weird skeleton. Right, because like he he was like piloting his body manually just by like um just just by moving his bones, right? Something like that. So I mean, he- he said it was like based entirely on his willpower and like being free from the constraints of the flesh. And like I don't know if that was him being like metaphorical about like uh No, I'm sure he is just like puppeting himself via bones. Okay. Yeah, he hasn't actually become like a slightly ascended being. He's just uh he's just well, a bone puppet he, of himself. He controls bones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he's just a bone puppet. Um so like I don't I don't think a skeleton was articulated anymore. I think he was just morphing it. Okay. All right. That's this is this is I I, I can get behind this. This is this is better than the dog my piss theory. <laughs> which you know, which is which is to say, you know, when the when 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 the flesh is gone eventually, mm-hmm. there's just gonna be a fucking like bone guy there, like a weird bone statue. <laughs> Yeah, like a weird bone statue. And it's just like hard to break. And like, who's who's gonna go out there and like bother cleaning this up? It's special, extra hard bone too, right? Like, mm-hmm. that's wonderful. Well, I always have something to remember him by. Yeah. Like, I, I drew a little camera, just like you know, he he's like lunging out of the bone and about to stab Garden, and he just fucking dies. So it's like, oh, okay, that's uh, it, it, it's like a moment that I think is like it, it, again, like a lot of stuff that's like kind of weightless here. But it's like a potentially like cool thing, right? At the very least, mm-hmm. like I, th- I think a lot of the like back and forth with Gar and Kimimaro, like in like this episode especially, is like g- kind of weak. But this moment of like oh, Gara is just like so fucking beat that like he doesn't even really have the fucking like sand coming to protect him, and uh, it's just that this guy like dies outright right here. Yeah, it- it's like a you know it-, it it has a potential to be a cool moment, you know. Um, yeah, totally, 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 totally. Th- th- this is also part of my theory um, of, like, the unarticulated skeleton. Mm-hmm. Because when Kimimaro dies, all momentum just fucking halts. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, it all adds up. So, yeah, it's just a it's just a solid object in there. Right, because if it, if it was, like, you know, a normal arm, then momentum would have carried. Mm-hmm. Right, like, it might have been, like, as forceful, but, like, it would have fucking hurt. Yeah, totally. You know, Gara's kind of fucked up about it. Lee's, like, a little bit fucked up about it. You know, Gar- Gara's, like, like I-, I can't believe it was, it was just luckily. It was like, oh, you know, my-, my-, my sensei always told me that, like, 
you know, your luck is a part of your strength. So, like, you know, d- d- don't worry about it. And I love that Gara's watch is like, oh, oh, that annoying guy who stopped me from killing you earlier. <laughs> That's right. His name is Guy. How'd you know? Like, <laughs> like you know, he's, he's here to, like, help me out. But he's like, I can't. I'm, he's still, like, a little bit annoyed. I'm like, oh, yeah, like, my, my primary, uh, like, memory of Guy is like, oh, he's the guy who, like, stopped me from doing the thing that I wanted to do. Even if it was, like, killing the person he is, like, talking to presently because he's just kind of a freak. Yeah, I love Gara. I love Gara. I love Gara. I love Gara, and I love Lee's response. Just like, hey, that only that only happened the one time. Okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because I wasn't strong enough. He's not like that usually. God. <sighs> yeah, I love I love how Gara is just like, you know, you know, like I I identify as the like similarities between mm-hmm. the, the dad situation, mm-hmm. and 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 Lee is just like. Um, no fucking way. I'd never let an evil guy be my dad. Yeah, no, uh, my dad's nice. I don't think it's possible to love your evil dad. <laughs> First of all, like, like I, I, I just think it's true. The car's like, no, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you just got, you just got lucky. You, you just got, you just got a good dad. It, it, that's all of it. That's all it comes down to. And it's like, huh? Okay, well, may, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, did you have more to say about that? Uh, not really. You want to move on to the next episode? Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Let's go. Let's go. Woohoo. Okay. Episode 128. A cry on deaf ears. Naruto and Sasuke stand off at the Valley of the End. Sasuke just haunts him and does his sicko chuckle as Naruto remembers all their bro moments. Sasuke says he's done with the leaf. Naruto refuses to let how hard everyone fought to get Sasuke back to go to waste and tackles him to the ground. Sasuke no sells a punch to the face and spits blood at Naruto. Sasuke says if he stayed with the leaf, he would have never gotten this strong. Naruto tells him Orochimaru's plan to take over his body, but Sasuke doesn't care. Naruto declares he intends to bring Sasuke home by force if he has to, and Sasuke asks why he's so fraught about having to fight him here, since the last time Naruto seemed so excited. Sasuke lifts him by the collar with one arm, and sends him flying into the water with a punch to the gut. Like I, I started up this episode right in my, uh, you know, like w- w- watching for the, uh, for the. It's like really, it's more like, oh shit, we're here, right? Like you know, we, we, we have like a, like a couple weeks left of like you know this fight, but mm-hmm. um, it, it really feels like oh fuck, we, we, we've like come a long way, you know. We're, we're here at this moment. We're in the valley of the end. Uh, the, the boys are there. They're gonna yell at each other. They're gonna fight. It's, it's gonna be. A, it's, it's like a big deal, you know. It's, it's like a. Yeah, they're going to share their feelings, and at the end of it, they're going to realize that they really, really care for one another, and they're going to go home back to the leaf with the newfound understanding of, like, themselves and each other, and, like, maybe, you know, I mean, they're still a little bit young, but, like, maybe as they, like, get older, you know, they realize, that, like, you know, maybe maybe they have something going on, and, you know, they, uh... Yeah, and none of that happens here, actually. Gwen, stop lying to the audience. Okay, okay, okay. You okay, just okay. read the summary. You just read the okay. summary. Okay, 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 okay. Right, like, uh, they, they're like, they are so extremely not sharing their feelings in this episode. Like, a way that is, <laughs> to, to an extent that is, like, fascinating to me, right? Like, yeah. Well, like, like, Sasuke, like, enters this conversation with Naruto, like, basically just on this level of, like, oh, you, you're gonna, like, try to talk me out of it like Sakura did? Like, like I, I didn't fucking care about anything she said, and, like, you know, he didn't, like, as far as I could tell, right? Like, <laughs> She, she didn't really have anything like you know i mean this is my own read bleeding in i think on some level the the comic wants and the anime wants us to think that like uh he he like cares on some level but like there's nothing to like latch onto there so i'm like yeah okay obviously he, he like doesn't really care about soccer right that's just kind of like the uh and that's just kind of the like angle i come at because you know the the work is just bad at like showing me anything otherwise um I, and, and there's like uh, but there's like almost an extent of like <laughs> You know, Naruto is, like, a person that, like, it's harder for Sasuke to do that with, right? Like, and so there's there's kind of, like, he, you know, like, maybe he's, like, trying to, like, provoke Naruto into, like, I, I don't know, like, saying something. Like, uh, like, like, you know. Um, Yeah, if, if, if fucking Naruto just said, I love you, then they would have been, they, they would be walking home right now. Like, they, they could be, right? Like, they very much, like, I mean, like maybe, maybe, because, like, here, here's the thing, is that Naruto doesn't, I mean, obviously Naruto doesn't say I love you, because, like, this. Like, you know, 
this isn't a comedy that's ever gonna like really uh, acknowledge how gay it reads. Um, but like more than that, Naruto like it doesn't even say like, "Oh, we're friends" at any point in this, right? Yeah. Like N- N- Naruto, like like you know he he's. He's, like, so wrapped up in, like, this as the mission, and, like, in his memories, like, oh, here's all the people who, like, put themselves in danger to, like, get me here, which, like, you know, it's, it's not, no, this is, like, a very, like, he, he, we talked about the previous episode being, like, a kind of awkward one to adapt with, like, a little bit, like, uh, more limited resources. This is, a, like, a much more convenient one because of, like, how many opportunities there are. It's just, like, here's the flashback showing the entire progression of, like, Naruto and Sasuke's relationship. Here's the flashbacks of, like, the last time Naruto saw each of the boys on the way here. Um, and yeah. I, I do think it's kind of fun, like how how committed the sequence is to flashbacks. It's like, oh yeah, he, here's the last moment that Naruto saw these guys. Here's like Kiba getting exploded off a cliff. Um, <laughs> no, like, he, like he doesn't know what, he doesn't know what happened after that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like that th- that is like a really good observation, though, right? Just like so much of what is like driving Naruto at this point, and so much of like how he is trying to communicate to Sasuke is just about like. I got five guys together to come and get you, and God damn it, we're bringing you home. Like it's not about Sasuke. Like Sasuke just mm-hmm. right. Like he he like flashes back to like okay, here, here's the like speech that like Shikamaru gave about how like he wasn't Sasuke's friend, but like you know it, it's like it's our like duty as like a member of the village to like bring him back. You know, like he, he, yeah. even though he like cares about Sasuke, like, it's, like obviously he does. He's like not like expressing that. He doesn't know how to express that because like he's been. Like, caught in this mold of, like, you, you have to, like, repress all this shit. You have to, like, exist in the context of, like, being a fucking, like, weapon. And, like, you know, the, the, this, the, for, yeah. like, for the sake of the village. And, like, he, so he just can't be like, hey, you're my friend. He's like, I can't fucking believe you betray the village like this, right? Like, that's that's the yeah. only thing he knows how to say here. And it's, like, yeah. fucking tragic. Yeah. Like, literally, 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 all Naruto has to say is just, like, Sasuke, you know, you're, you're, you're my friend. Like, I came out here to get you because I'm worried about you. Like, I care about you. Like, everyone came mm-hmm. out here because they're worried about you. Just please, just, like, please come home. Like, we can figure this out together. We can, mm-hmm. we can get stronger together. We can do this. Right. And, like, but, but like, like, Naruto just can't fucking bring himself to get there, right? Like, it's, like, fascinating because, like, there's this bit where, like, even with Sasuke's like, oh, well, like, what, what did fucking, what did this fucking, like, bullshit village that cares about friendship do for me? And, like, even then, Naruto doesn't, like, acknowledge it on the terms of, like, friendship or whatever, right? Like, like, Sasuke is, like, fucking, like, placing that in his hands, and Naruto's just like, I, I can't fucking believe you do this to the village. And not, like, it, it, you know, it's like. Yeah. <sighs> fucking toxic masculinity in the Shinobi world is tough. Oh, it's rough. It's rough. No, like Naruto can express the feeling, like, okay, like Sasuke, you you don't want to like go to Rochimaru. He'll like he he he's not gonna like try and make you like be stronger in terms. He wants to like take your body and shit. And Sasuke's like, well, well I don't care. Like I just like I like, like whatever. Like as long as Itachi dies or whatever, that's fucking fine by me. I, I don't give a shit, right? Because like again, like, like like Naruto just can't connect those like objections to like any like feelings he actually has in this moment, right? Um, there's this sense of, like even where like Sasuke like starts out like on this position of like yeah like oh it's, it's fucking you here you fucking loser like like the, he he is the one who is like trying to like provoke Naruto and like bring him back to that point of like you know actually like like well like, like where was the guy who was excited for the chance to fight me where was the guy who like had that connection to me that like felt like fucking personal and not like it was just like oh this is your job um, yeah right and like that 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 totally reads as like a Oh, you you were so excited to fight me before, and like, if, if Naruto even just said, like, yeah, you're my friend, we were rivals. Like, I wanted to, I I wanted to prove myself against you. I wanted to like be your friend. Like, I wanted to compete with you because we are friends. Mm-hmm. Like, it could have gone a long way, but he he just doesn't get there. He just doesn't get there. <sighs> like, literally, Naruto is just like, no, it's different now. Like, yeah, right. And it's like, what does that fucking mean, right? Like. <laughs> What does that do for Sasuke? It doesn't fucking do anything. It doesn't fucking help him. Mm-hmm. God damn. Yeah, like I, this isn't like really interrupts this week. Like obviously there's like, but like obviously there's like some level in which like Sasuke is like, y- you know, he like he he wants Naruto not to acknowledge their friendship like for, for like a reason that isn't even necessarily like oh this will like convince me to go back. But like you know, like maybe things could have been different if uh like if, if Naruto just got there, you know, if uh. Yeah, and like for you know, like for, for for the record, like we were talking about like how how things could have been different, right, and everything. But like, I I, I am not saying it is like a flaw of the storytelling that Naruto is like fa- fa- failing to do this right now, right? Like you know, mm-hmm. like I, everything we outlined, I think is like this is like one of the like strengths of like Naruto. I think when like the Naruto and Sasuke stuff is like 
on the screen and like being done well it's like genuinely fucking electric it's like one of the like best things in the show it's like a it's like a correlation that like really drives the thing forward like you know i i like yeah and like i'm glad that we're here and it's like oh this, this is like good still this is like this has like meat too there's like meat on this bone there's like a weight to this yeah right and there's like depth here that like you know you don't get All right i mean like because fundamentally a lot of this arc is about people fighting guys they've like never really talked to you know like we talked about how like neji has his whole thing of like oh i'm going to like defeat Kitamaro to refute his worldview that like he doesn't really have um yeah and like you know obviously like jirobo is like pushing choji's buttons a little bit or whatever uh, and a lot of, like saying stuff that pisses him off but there's no like like there's not like a ton of like emotional connection between the characters that are like fighting each other in this uh in this arc from us we're like you know there, there's stuff for like lee and Kimaro and gara right um mm-hmm. but like i don't know, like it, it's, it's just good it's just good to be here right like i i think that like you know i i think a lot of like shown in action stuff like this is at its best when like the people who are fighting each other like have a reason to care that they're fighting each other specifically um yeah like whether that's rivals or whether that's like you know a a villain who like has come to like very personally represent something that that, like uh the protagonist is caring about or like you know threatens somebody he cares about right totally Um, totally totally like it's, it's just great to be like back in this mode of like oh yeah there's like some like real like there's just like a lot to like unpack in terms of like the relationship we're seeing on screen for like the first time in a while yeah um is there anything else you want to say about this half of the episode uh no you want to press on yeah let's go for it okay sasuke is giddy about his new power and gets so excited to unseal his curse mark naruto is still just pretty sad about his bro being so different now and gets his ass kicked some more sasuke remembers his childhood with itachi and how much he looked up to and resented his older brother for getting all of his father's attention. Naruto and Sasuke fling some knives, and Sasuke ties Naruto to a rock and lights him on fire. Right, so Sasuke, like, immediately is just fucking kicking Naruto's ass, right? Like, yeah. P- punches him down into the water, he, like, you know, he's, he's showing off his, like, cool crush mark on his arm and his, like, fucked up eye, and he's like, oh shit, I'm, like, strong now, I'm, like, so good at punching my bestie. Sasuke, Sasuke's about to put to rest to his bestie. Yeah, right. Like, you, you, you know, when Naruto's appeal is primarily to like, no, you, you, you got to like do this for the village and like, you know, the, the village is like image of like strength and like growth and all, all of that. Like, he, you know, it's it's not a very compelling argument when like a fucking like snake pervert has given you like super strength to like punch your bro like 500 feet away from you. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Like, Sasuke, but you already have the power. Like, you can just go home now. <laughs> But he's got he's got to get stronger. But like you can get stronger with your bros. Yeah, but like Naruto's not even being like, "Hey, we're bros," you know? Like, yeah, I know it's Naruto's fault. Fuck that kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's okay. I'm not like mad. <laughs> because because there's also like the 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 like thing where like y- you know, especially without having that sort of like you know m- mutual care acknowledged by Naruto. Um, like he he like looking at it, there, there can be like the sense of like, oh. Oh, like, b- because I was, like, friends with this kid, he was able to catch up to me, but, like, I don't, I don't know if I've been getting stronger, right? Like, you know, he, it's kind of, uh... Mm-hmm. He, 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 it's, it's, like, warped his perspective a little bit, and, uh, you know, so he, he needs to, like, lean on something that gets, uh, like... Yeah, sometimes it's, sometimes you just need a win. Yeah, sometimes you need a win. Sometimes you need something that, like, looks like it has a fucking, like, road forward, even if that road ends with, like, a fucking snake man taking your body in, like, two years. Um, like, ideally after you kill your brother. <laughs> Yeah, if I was Sasuke, I would simply not let Orochimaru do that. I mean, <laughs> like, getting ahead of herself, but like, that is what happens more or less. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, like, you know, there's complications there, but, uh... Yeah. But, like, you know, like, like having this, uh... Having the sort of like footing in the conversation that Naruto's not really like taking any moves to like unsettle, like you know, leave Sasuke the opportunity to like you know just start like 
you know, give, give, give it a little bit of a monologue, start talking about how, like, oh, yeah, there's, like, 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 like there's no, like, fucking dreams that remain for me in the village. There's no, like, sense of, like, fucking peace or, like, happiness or, like, friendship or whatever there. Because, like, oh, my, all, all my dreams are in the past, you know? He's he's just, uh, he he's just fully on his bullshit now. Um, he is, uh... Oh, yeah. Which, like, you know, it, it, it like... It makes sense that your connection to the place that you live would be maybe, like, a little bit shattered by the part where, like, you know, your whole family died, and, uh, yeah, you know, it, it would, like, it just sort of would, by necessity, like, kind of, kind of complicate uh, your feelings about, like, the place where you were when that happened. We start getting into the, the like, Sasuke and Itachi, like, flashback stuff that is going to be, like, the bulk of next episode, right? But, um... Mm-hmm. In the manga, this stuff is just like one like solid block of like yeah okay we're we're just seeing like Sasuke flashback stuff until we get there. But like the anime like tries to do this thing of like okay we're like still like going to be like framing each episode we have about this with like a little bit of like Naruto and Sasuke fighting in the present, which is like usually like pretty solid, but like definitely is like a little bit weird in like this episode where like he he remembers like stuff with Itachi for about like like three minutes and then like we get back to the action right and like I, I think it like works well here right like it works fine like, I think it, like. Even does some fun stuff with like interplaying between those two things, but but it is like definitely like a little bit of like a like like a little bit of like a textually awkward thing. Um, yeah, uh, or like a, I don't know, like awkward, but like distinct is maybe more what I mean to say. Because mm. like when uh, when Sasuke is like you know re- remembering like him and Itachi like he, he, like a little they're off in the woods and like Itachi is like doing like epic knife tricks and he's like throwing kunai so good. Um, and Sasuke's like, well, I want to do that. And like, you know, like it's not a complete scene on its own, right? Like, it's not like a thing that's, that really has like a, it, it's not really the, the, the complete thing that that moment is doing. Right. Um, cause it, it obviously like it carries over into like a lot of what the next episodes are about because it's just like one contiguous thing in the, in the manga. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, we, I think, I think we do get like a pretty fun moment of like, you know, Sasuke remembers that and then like he does the like cool thing that Itachi did of like throwing a kunai at like another kunai to like you know d- divert his path and like hit somebody who's like behind a rock that he can't see right you know he, he, he he's like he just talked about like how all his dreams are in the past now he's like drawing directly on like you know th- th- those memories to do something like cool and strong rather than like anything that exists in the present you know he's he, he's at the very least like 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 even if it's kind of awkward thing this episode is like c- calling on that to at least like reinforce the like position that sasuke is like presenting himself in uh here yeah um, I also want to call out that, like, Sasuke continues to be, like, the knife tricks boy. Yeah. And, like, I don't remember Sasuke being a knife tricks boy. Yeah, I mean, like, maybe he's gonna be, like, so, like, constantly fucking, like, Chidori and special showering on powers by, like, Shippuden that, like, he just won't, ha- he just won't need to, like, do knife tricks anymore. Yeah, I mean, he gets the sword, too, right? Like, he does get a sword, too, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, 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 yeah, I'm curious where they drop that. Mm-hmm. Or if they drop it, and I just forgot somehow. Yeah, I, mean, I, I guess that's something to like keep an eye on. Um, yeah, he has knife tricks. He has all his like shuriken wires to like tie tie Naruto to rock and like light him on fire before the episode ends. He's he's uh, he is still very much in that mode at least for like this part of the fight. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Which I if it is like not really like again like this this part of the fight is like not really like pulling directly from any part of the manga, right? Like a lot of the um, oh like the <clears throat> like. The Naruto and Sasuke fight, and like, like, blah. Um, like, a lot of the Naruto and Sasuke action stuff, like, the latter half of this episode, and then, like, the, uh, the, our next episode this week is, um, it, it is, like, pretty, like, original to the anime in terms of, like, structure and content. Um, okay. Well, like, to the point where they're, like, the, the, there's, like, parts of the, like, fight that are in the, like, manga already that, like, are not really here and are going to get, like, repurposed, like, later on in the fight, like, when we have the, like, big episode. God, I'm so excited for that big episode, by the way. I am too, yeah. It's not going to be next week, it's going to be like the week afterwards, but like I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah. Alright, well, is, is, is this all you want to say about this 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 episode? Yeah, I'm, I'm good to move on to our next one. Yeah, okay, let's move on. Episode 129, Brothers, Distance Among the Uchiha. Naruto rushes up through the fire to sock Sasuke, but he knows sells all of the hits again. Sasuke says that if that's all Naruto has to offer, then he won't even need to use his Sharingan, and catches another punch to say some Itachi Siko stuff, reiterating how much stronger he is now that they aren't bros anymore. Sasuke remembers Itachi walking him home from knife practice, and explaining why the Uchiha clan are cops, and how much he wanted to be a cop. Back home, their dad is excited to go on Itachi's special mission with him, but it's Sasuke's entrance ceremony. 
so Itachi says he's not going on the mission to get his dad to stay back for Sasuke instead. Baby Sasuke is really feeling the weight of everyone's expectations on him. Sasuke overhears that his brother had made the Anbu and heads out to collapse in the woods. His mom chides him about pushing himself as she dresses his wounds. Alright, so like before we get into this episode proper, we have a new opening. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, okay. So I mean, j- just like before we get into like any specific feelings on it, like I just want to like you get a little bit of established stuff. Probably this is like the sixth opening. Uh, the song is like uh, "No Boy No Cry" by Stance Punks. You know, j- just to, like c- c- clear up any like confusion that might be like which one we're supposedly talking about. Um, this is another mm-hmm. like uh, Toshikisuru and Tirupumi Suzuki opening. You know, like as many of these have been. Um, like it- it's like perhaps not the like flashiest outing, but like I've honestly I always really liked this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I like this song a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. Like it's like a little bit of like a fake blue heart song. But the thing is that like if you're making like a fake blue heart song, you're like doing an okay job of it. It's like still gonna come out pretty good because like yeah. a blue heart song box. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I like I, I really like the 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 vision of like not just like the song and like the lyrics present of like you know he just like making this cry to the kids to like you know not 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 just like give their dreams away to like the expectations of like living in this world you know like to like actually like cling to what matters to them and like try try and fight for something and change something right like it's uh it's maybe not even the most what naruto is but it's like a vision of it that i think is like really striking yeah speaking of vision of things that is like really striking um i want to say um without getting too much into it i just want to mention this is the first instance of fucking 1010 using a staff in the oh, show shit. you're right yeah yeah ne- never never actually uses a staff like on screen i don't think i know there's at least a few more like openings and endings where she has a staff and like does some like melee weapon fighting um, right 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 but like at any time she is featured doing some like action stuff in like a opening or an ending it is like with a staff and i'm just like what well, why, why did you just have her do that? Where, where does that come from, and why don't we have that? <laughs> right. I, I I don't know. Like, I mean... Because I don't think Naruto has a staff person, right? Like, No. And she's a perfect fit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Here's, like, a like like a, like a solid, generally, like, applicable weapon. She could be used, like, kind of, like, if, if you get out of a situation, and, like, maybe she, like, switches something, like, more specialized as she gets into it, or, like, you know, maybe she's got, like, maybe she's got, like, tricks to her staff or something. I don't know. Like, you, you could do stuff with that, right? Like... Yeah, totally, right? Like, you know, like, she, she she, is the person who is, like, supposed to be, like, good at fighting with weapons, right? And just, like, mm-hmm. the, the the ultimate, like, good at fighting with, with weapons, ty- like, archetype is, like, kind of, kind of a staff bitch, you know? Kind of a staff bitch, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. And then, like, later... Later, because because she was the staff bitch, she could she could get the... She could get the, the, like, Monkey King summon. That'd be so fucking cool. Oh my god. Oh my god, she is fucking... Uh, she gets fucking oh hell yeah that would be awesome i mean not gonna happen probably but like oh my god yeah okay like i i think that's the list of shit that happens in our rewritten naruto uh a ted ted gets cool shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah like literally uh, like literally the other thing like, like the, the main thing i want to talk about with this opening is that like this is not an opening that is really playing coy about the fact that sasuke is going to leave at the end of this arc, right? Like, you know, we start with, like, the bit of, like, Naruto and Sasuke running at each other, and then we, like, cut to, like, everybody's, like, standing around sad, and, like, Sasuke is, like, standing off in the distance, like, looking before he turns away, right? Like, it, it is, like, so, so, like, to the point of, like, you, you know, like, it, it is it is not bothering to hide at all that, like, oh, yeah, like, we all know how this is going to go. It is, however, plague coy about the fact that Neji and Choji are still alive, because they do not appear at all in this version of the opening. <laughs> Oh my god, that's awesome! <laughs> right, like, there's, like, another version, like, later, like, after this arc ends, that, like, edits them back into a lot of the group shots, but, like, <laughs> they are very pointedly not here right now. That's hilarious! Yeah, right, like, they're just like, yeah, it's obviously, obvi- like, it's obvious that Sasuke is, like, not coming home at the end of this, at the end of this fight. Um, It's also unclear whether those boys died. It's amazing. It's it's really it's really funny, um, and like I, I just think it's like making a pitch for like okay here's the like 
stretch of Naruto we have after this, right? Where like you know everybody's like sad about Sasuke for leaving, but then they like they're able to like look look towards the future, and we have like you know Naruto and Sakura, and they're like hanging out with like all of the other kids, and like maybe they're going off on missions that like you know break up the usual team formation a little bit, which is like you know more or less what happens. Um, yeah. But there's there's definitely a gesture towards like oh yeah and also like a lot of the like more consistent like villains are going to be around that right like fucking Sasori is in this opening this is his like first appearance in the anime and like he's not going to fucking show up are you kidding me no like I I don't think any of the Akatsuki guys appear like once in the in the like ninety ish episodes after uh, the Sasuke retrieval mission ends um but it's like it's like making your pitch and be like you, you know kind of cool to see like how all those characters are like moving around in addition to like the uh, the Leaf Village kids. Yeah, um, God, God, I, I'm so sad we don't get an episode that's just like fucking, it, it, Itachi and his bro just hanging out. Oh my God! Right, like we we get like we get like one episode which is like here here's like, um like a, like Itachi Kasami on a mission. Maybe we get like a like a teaser episode of like yeah we're not gonna get like super deep into it, but here's like Sasori and Deodara doing some stuff to get you like excited for. uh Yeah. Oh my God, that'd be so like, fun. Maybe everyone's like like a Sasuke training episode, right? Like, ooh, yeah, just check in on Sasuke, right? Like, it it would it, it would be like it would be cool to see that. Episode. Like, like in my memory, we're like kind of restrained to like uh, like Nar- Naruto is the POV character, yeah, and like it, it going on like you know l- largely like unconnected missions, um, but like the, the, there is like a like a, a gesture towards like the vision of like what the like next stretch of the show could be that like has this like. You know, like, sense of, like, interconnectedness with, like, the rest of Naruto that, like... Yeah. It's, like, it's like a beautiful vision, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything else you want to say about this opening? No, not not, not really. Okay, I mean, like, then we get to, like, get into this episode, which, I like, I also really like. Um, yeah. I, I think there's, like, a bunch of stuff to talk about in here. I also think that, like, uh, th- this is, um... This episode is like storyboarded and directed by Masahiko Kamurata, who I've like talked about before. Um, the animation direction is Chikara Sakurai, who I've like mentioned is like be- being like pretty solid. Like he, he has like worked with like a uh, Murata on a lot of his episodes. But also there's like uh, a second animation director, which is Seiko Asai, who like winds up being like a a pretty consistent collaborator with Murata on a lot of his Shippuden episodes. Um, so like he, you know, like we're see- we're seeing that like sort of like working relationships start to form. I'm, like not sure exactly off the top of my head like how much that's going to like carry over throughout like Murata's episodes in like the big anime original stretch but like yeah you know um it, it's like cool to see those like connections start to be made um I also think that like um th- th- there have been like moments of like stylistic flair and stuff in a lot of Murata's like previous episodes but I think this is like the first one of his that really like just nails like a solid sense of fundamentals right like it's it's not the most out there it's not the most like leaning into his like particular brand of indulgence which for like it, it stuff we'll get into like later in this podcast like not this episode but, like you know in like the, the podcast as a whole um mm-hmm. but like it, it's just like very solid right like i think the like the the naruto and sasuke fighting stuff in the present which is like original to the anime like generally has like a pretty solid sense of like weight to it i think that like a lot of the like stuff throughout this episode is there's just like a, a like Nice attention to like you, you, you know like it, it's still like pretty like directly like going beat for beat from the manga, but like is doing a good job of like expanding out the like sense of space of a lot of the small panels and like 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 being attentive to like the lighting and stuff in a way that I think is like pretty strong. Like, I, I think this is like fundamentally like a like a very solid episode. Totally. You know, t- t- top of this episode, Darto is like he he he's leaping out of the fire. He's uh. He, 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 they they don't really linger a lot like what specifically Naruto did to like stop being tied to the rock and being on fire, but like you know it's it's fine. Um, it's 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 not that important, and, and I think like what what comes from that where like Naruto like you know like tackles Sasuke and he just like she starts fucking pu- punching him right. Um, yeah, and like Sasuke is just like punches fucking suck idiot. And I've tried I've tried all I I I don't even have the showering gun going like come the fuck on you you got to be better than this is like it, it's like pretty good right like it's like it's uh. Sasuke like may not have been able to like get Naruto to like express anything like genuine, but he's at least like pretty confident in his ability to like keep riling up this boy right now. Um, mm-hmm. You know, he's he he's just leaning into all the sicko shit. He's like, yeah, this is great. I, I just need to like hate more. I need to like, I need to like cut off all all, all of these bonds I have and, be, and become like fucking angrier and like more of a sicko. Um, he, he's he's not doing great, but you know he's a. Uh, he, he he's covering it up by being mean pretty well i guess oh yeah and then we we get into like the the bulk of the episode which is a lot of the uh the sasuke and itachi flashback stuff which like we get into like i i like 
really enjoyed a lot of this stuff. I think there's like a lot to touch on here. I think it's also like something that I think like something that I've talked about a bunch is that like I think that a lot of uh, th- there's a lot of stuff in Naruto where it's like okay, well, like like we can like try and think about like how this connects to like the stuff that's said later, but like it doesn't line up super well. But I actually think a lot of the stuff here like sits pretty cleanly with like a lot of what we learn later on about like the position of Uchiha in the village and like is honestly like kind of enhanced by that knowledge um which was like kind of a pleasant surprise because i'm like used to looking guess something could be like okay I, I know some stuff later it's gonna like make this seem like kind of like bullshit um yeah. but like you know when like sasuke and itachi are like you know they're walking back home and giving sasuke a back ride like stop by the police station and like sasuke's like hey why why is our family symbol on the like police force logo anyway right like th- there is this real sense of like <laughs> itachi is being very diplomatic about how to talk about this right yeah because like he you know as somebody who's been through Naruto before like i know that like the uchiha are given control over the police force as like a sort of like consolation prize for being like not allowed to have like real like political power in the village like they're basically like you know the council that makes the decision is like basically close off the possibility of there being like an uchiha hokage mm-hmm you know, like, there's some, like, real clear pauses and, like, Itachi talking about it, so he's just kind of trying to think about it. He's like, yeah, uh, our, our clan, like, you know, we, we just, like, we, we chose to found the police force to, like, protect everybody. And, like, we, we you know, it, it takes, like, some really strong, great guys to, like, you know, keep other shinobi in line, right? Uh, it's very, uh, it, it's, like, very much the, like, I don't, I don't really want to get into how this is fucked up with my little brother kind of conversation. Yeah. Um. You know, and I love Sasuke's, like, dumb little, like, wow, I can't wait to grow up and become a cop. And, and Itachi's just sitting there like, mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and Sasuke's like, hey, we, we should be cops together. And Itachi's like, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, uh, maybe, bud. Mm-hmm. Let's keep walking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad Sasuke's better now. Right. <laughs> I mean, like, here's the thing, right? Like, we we can we can do we could do all of our like a cab like which because like obviously our cops are bastards thing, right? You know, like obviously that's that's just true. That's just true, right? No good cops, but like also, <laughs> like the the position of the police force in the like ha- having having like a ha- having like a group of people that is like basically like systematically forced into occupying that role in society is like a different thing it's like right and it's also like none of the ninjas in the hidden leaf village like aren't cops really right like in the way that like somebody who's in the cia is also a cop (laughs) right like there isn't like a you know they're they're like a regulatory body for like defeating bandits and stuff and for like you know suppressing foreign threats and domestic threats or whatever right like it's all it's all cop shit right like there isn't like a yeah, which makes me wonder what the what 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 the shinobi police force is for. Like, what is I mean, like it, it's, they talk about it specifically being as thing like, yeah, we, we're like here to keep the like shinobi specifically in line, right? Like, we're here to like okay. inv- investigate like crimes on that level, right? Um, right, but then what are the anbu for? Um, the anbu are so you could have like separate police that are, like are directly under the Hokage because like the village leadership doesn't trust the Uchiha that much. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like, I, I, I get that that is like the role they felt like, you know, po- po- politically, right? But like, well, okay, I, I, I guess I should say, okay, with the Ambu there, what, are, what are the other police for? <laughs> right. Um. I mean, like, right? the the other police are there to give the Yachiha like a sense of like political significance in the village when they're denied that like uh that role in larger society you know it's like uh yeah 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 it's like kind of like a tightrope balancing act that everybody's like clearly unsatisfied by right like i think the, i think the unrest in the uchiha clan is like pretty evident in this episode <laughs> yeah i mean like th- this is maybe getting like into like ahead of ourselves a little bit like uh, in- into something that happens in the next part actually but like there there's very much a conversation later that that definitely reads to sasuke's uh sasuke's dad just being like all right now itachi just because you're in the real police now doesn't mean you don't have <laughs> doesn't mean you are actually working for us the like yeah 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 i mean speaking of like before we get to that like did you still talk about like sasuke itachi's dad in this part of the episode because like this guy fucking sucks oh this my god 
awful. Just like a really shitty dad, right? Like, I mean, like, we talked about Roshi Maru being, like, the worst possible dad just because he doesn't really, like, you know, care about you on any level and, like, is just trying to, like, you know, he's trying to create, like, a special boy to take the body of. Yeah. Like, this guy is just, like, a bad dad on, like, a much more, like, immediately, like, comprehensible scale, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, You know, like, in, like, earlier, like, flashback stuff to, like, Sasuke's past, right? Like, we, we see that scene where, like, Sasuke's dad is like, oh yeah, your brother's just like a fucking weird guy that nobody understands. Like his vibes are bad, right? Like, like because yeah. we've seen like that's where that guy ends up. Like it really like adds to the sense that like it is also in these scenes of like every fucking good thing this guy has to say about Itachi is like so fucking conditional. Yeah, and like every good thing he has to say to Sasuke is like in the specific framework of like, hey, you try to be as good as your brother, who's like really strong and useful to me, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like he 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 just fucking sucks, and he's like you know he. There is, like, some level of, like, emotional investment in, like, his kids to, like, a certain degree, to, like, a certain, like, unavoidable degree, but he's definitely also, like, primarily interested in, like, you know, these are, like, fucking chess pieces for him. He he is, like, playing his game of, like, trying to, like, you know, like, it's good for him that Itachi is, like, successful by the standards of the village, not just because, like, or, like, not because, like, he wants, like, not because he's, like, happy for his son, but because he's like, oh, this is, like, a really great opportunity for, like, the clan as a whole. Yeah. Um, and it's, like, really fucking sweet that Itachi is, like, willing to, like, push back on that and be like, no, hey, I, I'm not going on that mission. Like, we, we need to go to, like, Sasuke's entrance ceremony for the for the academy. Like, yeah. Like, I, I was going to say, like, genuinely, 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 genuinely. Like, it, it, it is, like, really, 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 really nice seeing mm-hmm. Itachi, like, understand. It's just like, okay, like, our... our, our our dad fucking sucks. I'm going to like look out for my little brother, right? Because like yeah, yeah. Got to start going. No, it's just like I don't know. It's like it, it, it's like the, the the like especially good kind of like sibling stuff, where it's just like yeah, the, the 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 older sibling is like very subtly in a way that like the younger sibling like might not even notice. Mm, like Sasuke definitely fucking doesn't notice it here, really, right? Like he he yeah. he's like so caught up in like that feeling of like oh shit, my like my older brother's stronger than me. Like everybody keeps comparing me to him, and like I don't know how to be as good as him, right? Because he he can't like pick up on like he he's fucking like seven or whatever here. Like he's not like picking. Right? Yeah, right. which I also want to call that. Um, Itachi right here is like ten or eleven. Right, right. Is Sasuke like five or something? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, right. Like, yeah, yeah. It says that he's like five, right? Like, <laughs> Itachi like extremely never looks like he's the age that like Naruto and like Sasuke are now, right? Like, <laughs> uh-huh. um, he 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 is always just like drawn and acted as if he is like the the Itachi of the present, and it is so fucking funny to look at that right. kid and think ten years old. <laughs> he hit his growth spurt fucking early. But like I, I I really really like Itachi in this episode. Honestly, like he's like yeah, he's like because like you know when we like talked about like the the previous flashback stuff where like the, the, there is an ex- there's like a sort of othering way that like his dad talks about him. Or, like I, like I, I was like definitely concerned about that. Like and like in this episode, like I think there's a sense like yeah, Itachi is like kind of a weird guy. He's like kind of an awkward guy. He doesn't really know how to like express stuff this well that well. So he's just kind of like trying to like. You know, be a bit of a shield for Sasuke. Be like doing his best to like lessen how bad things are for Sasuke without like uh, with without like stirring the pot too much and causing like a like like an incident that like obviously like wouldn't be good for Sasuke. Yeah, and like also without like I I think those hints were like he doesn't really know how to like be like normally reassuring, which I I kind of get like in the the next half of the episode more so than this one, right? But, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Like I I just I think he's like really compelling like you know like he, he's gonna put sasuke in like fucking brain torture hell like that's kind of weird mm-hmm. but like i don't know that, that, that's i guess that's just kind of the register that like the show work, like operates in and i kind of have to accept it if i'm like going to like take the parts that i like where like I, I think he like it's like really evident that he cares and it's like really uh it's like it's like really like genuinely sweet sometimes yeah totally 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 so sasuke goes to school and everyone's being awful mm-hmm. yeah 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 Everyone's ever everyone is just like, wow, you're you're the Itachi boy. Yeah, you're you're oh great, you're Itachi too. Do your best. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey smaller Itachi, what's up? Right. And fucking Sasuke's fucking dad, who I don't know his fucking name, honestly. I've never learned this guy's name in any way that like stuck. Who fucking cares? He's in the dirt. Yeah. But like it's fucking astounding to be in the scene that we're like 
Um, when like when like Itachi isn't there, and like when he's like not necessarily like using that to like directly motivate, like the idea that Itachi is like super good to like directly motivate Sasuke. Like when the like when Sasuke's teachers be like, oh wow, Itachi's the best ever. I hope Sasuke's just as good. His dad is just like he he's not that good. <laughs> just like fucking unbelievable. Fuck this guy. Like, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna beat this guy up. <laughs> like, I mean, you don't have like. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in time and beat this guy up before Itachi kills him. Okay, all right, couldn't hurt. I'm just gonna rough him up something fierce. And then Itachi shows up and he's just like, "What? What? What are you? What are you doing here?" I was just like, "Oh, I just wanted to kick your dad's ass." And he's just like, "All right, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna do something bad." I'm like, "Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it." <laughs> uh... The other thing I touched on with like Sasuke going to the academy is like I feel like we get like a few more pieces to like trying to piece together like the structure of ninja education, which like maybe like a few saw the cause, but like we, we do see like was like like so Sasuke is like a, a, entering this class and like first of all like Irika is not their teacher, right? And like basically none of the other people that are like in Sasuke's class specifically are here except for like Choji and Shikamaru. Uh huh. So, so like, like even though they're all the same age, like I, I I guess they might be like entering the academy at like different ages, right? Like there's still that like structure of uh, yeah, you know, you you, you can send your kids earlier. And I, I guess like Choji and Chikamaru specifically get that treatment. Um, I, I don't know what Eno's up to, but uh, maybe Eno's just in girl class now. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> and maybe it's like maybe it's like because like choji and chikamaru like kind of stopped playing with all the kids their age because they're being fucking mean to choji the dad's like hey do you, do you want to like i don't know like, go to like ninja school early like we, we we can do that for you oh my god that's so sweet actually <laughs> right and they also just kind of like fuck around and like blow off until they're like basically like in the thing classes naruto or whatever but like you know yeah it's like a it's like a maybe it's like an opportunity to make it oh my god that's beautiful god that's actually really sweet <laughs> right oh my god ruby your beautiful mind yeah, I can, I can, I can imagine some some magical, wonderful things in the world of Naruto too. That's wonderful. I love you so um, much. I love you so much. The, the other thing I want to talk about is like, say, so, you know, like Sasuke is like pushing himself as hard as he can to like try and like catch up to Tachi and try and like do as good. And like when his mom is talking to him, I mean, like obviously she also like a, a little less pointedly than than his dad. I think it does think of like, oh yeah, no, Itachi was special, right? But she also is like. Oh, I mean, like, you know, it's kind of different. They don't really do the, like, graduating early thing so much anymore, right? Like, yeah. which I, th- I think is the first time we've had, like, we've talked about the possibility, but I think this is the first time it's been, like, directly stated that, like, you know, the, the in the Leaf, they are, like, specifically scaling back from that kind of, like, getting guys out of the academy as fast as possible uh, method of education. Yeah. I mean, s- standards get way lower in wartime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um... Is, is there anything else you want to say about this half of the episode before we move on? Uh, no, let's let's press on. Okay. Sasuke brings a report card home to his dad, but can't even be complimented without being compared to Itachi. Sasuke overhears Itachi having a secret meeting with their father about a special assembly tomorrow, and Itachi's responsibility to the clan. Sasuke and Itachi have a talk about complicated feelings, and Itachi says he'll always be there for Sasuke when some guys show up to accuse Tachi of murdering his big bro figure, Shizui. Itachi kicks their asses and drops some sicko shit about the clan until Sasuke calls out to him. Back in the present, Naruto and Sasuke stand off again. This time they're both serious about the fight and ready to throw down. Okay. So yeah, so Sasuke gets his like his like report card at school, he's like the fucking he's like first in like all of his subjects, the top of the class, top of the school. Um, you know, he, he, he's doing so good. He's like, so impressive. The thing that like really struck me, like, is, you know, I, I was looking at like the Viz translation and, um, on, on the like report card, you know, that there's like Taijutsu and Ninjutsu, like individual and team, um, for, it's like the various categories. And then there's like also, uh, Senjutsu, um, which like threw me for a loop at first. Cause I was like, oh, wait, is, is that fucking like, isn't that fucking like sage mode shit? Um, because they're like that, that, you know, if you're like romanizing like the, uh, the, 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 the stage mode, like, like the way stage mode is like written in Japanese, you, you also go to Senjutsu. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, it's like, it, like, you know, I, I did a bit of digging. It's like, no, this is like a different thing. It's talking about like strategy and tactics and stuff. Um, but, but it is like very, like, it, like, it, it, it does lead to like, since, like this specific instance of like, okay, here's like this, like translation choice that was like made like long enough ago that they like didn't really know about like the sage mode stuff so it just like it, it, it just like is this thing that like 
really stands out. And, like, it's probably not going to go back and, like, fix it or whatever. But, like, you know, it, it caught me off guard, right? Um, the other yeah. thing is, like, they, they're not fucking teaching Genjutsu at the Academy, I guess, right? There's not, like, a Genjutsu class that Sasuke get, is getting graded in. It's just it's just not as important um, in, in whatever... Uh, More fucking, like, systemic oppression against the Uchiha. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> okay. All right. You're not gonna like back off that claim, or you think you're just gonna back off that one? Um, yeah. Right. He, he, he takes it back to his dad, and dad's like, his dad's like, oh, that's great. You should just keep doing your best, and like maybe you can become like a fucking backup Itachi for me. Like, you n- never know when you might need one of those. Uh, yeah, Itachi's been weird lately. I might need another one. I might. I might. I made mean, a different another one. It'd actually be like pretty cool if you're like also that good, or like at least comparable. I don't know. Um, I hate you know. this guy so much. This guy fucking sucks. Um, I'm gonna go into Sasuke's memories and kick him in the teeth. And then Sasuke's like woken up by like his dad like yelling at his brother, right? Um, and he's got like the. I, I think this, this is like one of the moments. Where, like I think this episode really shines of like Sasuke is like wandering through the house at night. There's like this. I, I think it like really captures that feeling of like oh god, like you, you know, it, it's just like it, you know, it, it's like a weird and pleasant thing to be woken up by like yelling of people you know in the middle of the night. And like it, it, it just kind of like makes it makes these spaces seem like a little more like awkward and oppressive, right? Um, yeah. And that, you know, the, the, just like Sasuke's like slow, kind of like yeah, you know, like a little bit of an easy movement through that space. I think it's like it's like pretty well conveyed. Um, uh, Sasuke's dad is like, you know, like you know, t- talking about how like Itachi needs like if I can come to this meeting like tomorrow, and Itachi being like, no, I, I have like a I have like a special job for the Yanbu. I can't say what it is; it's top secret. And it's like, don't fucking say that shit, like. You you need to understand like 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 he said like in the first half of like like when you were talking about the scene briefly like he's like you need to fucking understand that like like I I know you're in the Yanbu but like you being in the Yanbu is like you working for us right like that is your primary loyalty this that is the thing you need to like care about the most right like <laughs> you know like like like, like there, there's this mode of realizing like is that be like oh shit like we like really fucked up that this guy is like loyal to the village not to us um, yeah but also but also dude like. Itachi just joined the Ambu. Like, he can't just go skip it out on missions. Right, like, he's been... Like, I don't know how long he's been in it, but, like, he can't be that long, right? It can't, like, I think, I think it was, like... I think there's, like, something that places, like, about, like, half a year after you're in the Ambu or something. Yeah. Um, which is, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, you can't just be, like, no, no to the Hokage. Like, you can't be, like, you know, I have a thing with my, uh, with my family. Like, I don't know. I think that's, like... I, I think if like one of the Hokage special guys is like blowing off like official Hokage business to be like, yeah, actually, I need to go scheme with my family. It's it's like y- you probably don't want that kind of attention when you are like actively scheming. Yeah, like you can fill me in later. Like I, if I'm gonna be your like special agent in in in, in guy, right? Like I can't attend every fucking meeting. Like I'm sorry, guys. You're going to need to work around my schedule a little bit. Like. Like, I have a cover to maintain now. It's like these guys don't know what Big Shinobi is like. God. <laughs> uh. Then again, they aren't girls. They didn't go to spy school. They didn't go to fucking spy class. Shit. That's, that, that, that's why the dad sucks. The dad's just like, oh, I wish I had a fucking daughter so I could have a spy. <laughs> God. Right, like, I, I don't know if any of the, like, Uchiha women are, like, involved in the, like, big plan shit, really. I don't, I don't know, right? Like, uh-huh. like, 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 Sasuke's mom definitely doesn't get off the impression of, like, being, like, an active ninja or anything, right? Um, yeah, but, like, you know. And, and, like, whenever we see, like, the Uchiha cop guys or whatever, it's, like, all dudes. So, like, I, I don't know what's going on there, really. Um, if it's just, like, classic Kishimoto thoughtless or sort of, like, a specific, like, archaic thing going on in the clan, I, I would probably chalk it up to the former more than the latter, but, uh, yeah. Regardless, they, 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 they're like, you know, they, they're they're a little bit like understaffed in terms of people who actually uh, went, went and learned about learned about espionage. Totally. Like you know, it, it, Itachi is like still doing. He's like trying to like watch out for Sasuke stuff in the scene where he's like, you, you, you know, he's like, hey Sasuke, go to bed. Like I hear you going by. Like he wants to like you know, j- j- try and like be the person who like notices this to like you know make this be a thing of like not yelling at sasuke like when his dad notices it, he wants to like try and like cut off the possibility of like you know this being like any harder than it needs to be and like obviously like sasuke's dad fucking sucks enough to like still yell at sasuke here but like you know i i i i think itachi probably like diffuse it a little bit yeah god i'm just i'm just watching these things and i'm just like wait sasuke 
why do you give a shit about your brother killing these people? These people suck. <laughs> right, I mean, obviously he hasn't really come to those, like, conclusions. I think it's, like, pretty hard to be cognizant about how much your parents suck when you're five. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, that's, like, fair. If I was five years old and um, my parents sucked and my and my older brother, who was ten at the time, um, <laughs> killed my entire family. K- killed my entire family, but also he was the only one that ever loved me. Uh huh. Um, I think I'd just be like, "All right, cool. Hey, what's up?" Yeah, you get you be, you get over it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's <laughs> you, you 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 like run into Itachi in that fucking like hotel hall, and you're like, "Hey, man, I never got to thank you for killing our parents." <laughs> It's like, hey, bro, we have always lived in this castle. <laughs> like, God. <laughs> like, what even happens? Then? What does it talk to you to do that situation? She's like, oh, I, I guess I don't need you to like do this handing me thing. If you're just get, if you're just like chill now, okay. Um. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do, do you want to like know more about what happened back then? Like, we got some stuff to talk about, I guess. <laughs> you, know, you want some like you want to hear about some like state secrets or whatever? I don't know. It's like kind of weird, but uh, like you, you've had everything pretty well so far. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, you know, if like if you're going to be cool about it, like, uh, you know, you, you deserve the truth a little bit, I guess. Yeah, and like, the the next day, or, like, I don't know if it's, like, the next day or if it's, like, a couple days later. It's, like, one of those. Because um, it's, like, it's like after, like, Itachi doesn't show up for the meeting, so it's, it's probably a little bit after that. Um, but, like, it's, it's not like he's going to, like, talk to Itachi to, like, be, like, hey, you, you know, just, just to, like, try and talk to him. Um, and Itachi's, like, hey, is, 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 so what's up, little boy? You, you, like, hate me or something? You, like, resent me? <laughs> <laughs> and Slosky's like, uh, I, no, maybe, I guess, I don't know. And, and I'm just like, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Like, don't worry about it. Like, you know, I'm, I'm your brother. I'm here for you. And like, what if what that means is like that you just hate me to like try and get better than me? Then like, hey, I'll, I'll be that for you. Cause like, you know, I, I, I'm just trying to be here for you. Which is like, it's like such a weird thing to say, but not in a way, like, I, like not in a way where it's like, oh, I can't believe this guy is like saying some like freak shit. It's just like, it, it just feels kind of characterful. Like, I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's uh yeah, and like, ne- 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 never say this guy doesn't fucking follow through on his bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess he really commits. They're just talking. Maybe they can make some more progress, but then the fucking co- the cops show up, right? Yeah. Um, they're 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 like they're here to like talk talk to you know. I mean, like they don't like lead with like talking about Shisui, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, they're, they're like working up to it. Like when I first watched this scene, I was like. Wait, is that like is that like Itachi's dad like standing directly behind the two guys that are talking and like it's not it's like a different guy but he looks like kind of like him just because of how like nondescript Sasuke's dad looks yeah um but like Sasuke's dad is like still here right like he's like he's like basically like waiting off in the wings to like step in if things get like too intense mm-hmm. right like he, he, he like I, I definitely get the impression like he like knows this is happening this is like basically happening with his like go ahead and he just like doesn't want to be the one to like have this conversation yeah like fucking coward, like you know, like like it, it would suck to be doing this, but also like fucking coward for not be doing it himself. I hate that guy so much. Yeah, you know they're they're, they're like it's a little working. I'm talking like yeah, hey, so like you're you know you're you're like best friend or whatever didn't show up to the meeting. Um, we we like we found his body in the river. There's, there's like a suicide note, and like obviously as the as the police, we were able to decide to like throw our full investigative weight behind this, right? And you know we we were able to determine. With our like invest- investigative power, that like either this is definitely his handwriting or definitely isn't because somebody with a shower gun copied it, which is like, <laughs> so, so, so it sounds like, um, it sounds like you don't really have anything to work with there, bud. <laughs> right, but it's also like this really like fascinating situation, where, like these cop guys show up being like, yeah, d- do you know our evidence techniques? Uh, our like evidence like investigating techniques. We either know this is like one hundred percent percent legit or something that one of us could have forged. <laughs> Which is like a okay, but so I'm saying something that somebody with powers like ours could have forged. Which is like okay, that's a, I guess that's like I guess that's an investigative attack you could take. Uh, like I get like like you gotta hand it to them. It is like <laughs> literally true. Yeah. However, um, extremely funny thing to do to like bring the evidence to the guy and just being like, so here's the suicide note. You know. Someone with eyes just like yours or mine could have forged that note. <laughs> well, the, the specific thing you're doing here is like, okay, like we're going to like tell you to like go to the Yondu and like have them investigate this, and like we have enough contacts there to like fucking like know that if you if you try to suppress it. So like you know, it, it, it's it's like 
you know, this play of being like, okay, we're, we're going to like try and like let you hang yourself with your own rope if you, uh, if you were involved with this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, they, they, they like leave him with this. They're like about to head out and like before they go, they like look back at him with their like showering gun activated, right? Mm-hmm. And then Tachi just fucking gets their asses. It's fucking beats them up in the street. Um, I, I, I think like maybe like my favorite like touch in like visual touch in this episode is like th- throughout this scene like you know with, with like um you know like Sasuke and Itachi talking and the cops showing up there's been like this like c- comparatively like gentle lighting because of how many of the shots are like focused from like you know like uh, around like the the shade that the house is casting and like the, the interior of the house right where it's like you, you know it's kind of like some gentle oranges and like the sunset and stuff right and then yeah. like the moment Itachi like fucking like like busts out the front door and like fucking attacks these guys it's like like, 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 he, like he's just out in the street and there's just like this like fucking like sickly yellow lighting covering everything right and like Sasuke watching it from inside the house is like th- th- there is no longer like that like protection for that lighting is like th- that is also like shining inside the house it's like this really like heightened like w- w- way of depicting the emotion I think is like really cool and striking where it's just like uh, th- th- this is just like escalated to the point of like being like very wrong and like you know, like, Sasuke has been, like, watching this and, like, not really getting what's going on, but, like, now he knows, like, shit's, like, a little bit fucked up at the very least. Um, you know, I, I, I think it's, like, a, like a very, like, fun little touch. But yeah, so, so, so he, he's, like, out in the middle of the street. He's, like, kicking these guys' asses, and he's just, like, on his fucking psycho shit fully. He's, like, you, you, you all fucking suck. You're all, like, limiting yourself with, like, your appearance to the clan. You're, like, you, you think you know how strong you are, and you think you know how strong you are, like, comparison. You, you fucking don't, and you're gonna, like, and, like, you, you, you can't fucking handle me. You've all, like, limited your potential too much. Like, the, the, the capacity of my vessel is so much greater than, than you could ever know or ever. Like, he, he's just, like, on some shit. He's just, like... He, he, he like all, all of his like fr- frustrations with uh you know b- b- being kind of like uh, uh, under the position of like needing to like you know fucking like b- be part of all the shit the ATR are like planning right is it, it, just kind of you know it's like bubbling over a little bit and he's like not like outright saying anything yet but he's like really uh he, you know he he's just kind of um he, he's just kind of like ready to make a mess of things um and like his his dad shows up, but like obviously his dad is not like a helpful person in no. basically any context. <laughs> um, right? Like it's, it's like only like Sasuke like freaking out and being like, "Hey, what the hell is going on?" Uh, where he's like, "Oh right, there is like a person I care about in the middle of all this. It's like the reason I've been putting up with all this fucking bullshit. I'm gonna like apologize. I'm gonna like try and uh, I'm, I'm gonna like try try and like pl- play at this a little while longer." And it's just like okay, that, that's great. Like the the, the like you know the, the immediate problem has been uh, has been deescalated. Nothing about the situation has been resolved. It's, it's all going great. There's just this really like fantastic feeling of tension hanging over all of it. You know, Tachi like looks back at like Sasuke and he's got the he like activates the fucking Mangekyo and it's like oh shit, what's that? Um, like I, th- I think the last time Tachi did that, like he didn't have like a special look for it, but now yeah, now now we know what it looks like. Yeah, that shit's real. Yeah, scary. Scary. Yeah, no, it's it, it. I don't know. Like, I I feel like I just kind of like lapsed, like just like saying what happens. But like, I re- I really like this episode. Yeah, yeah. It's excuse me. It's a really good episode. Is there like anything where you want to say about it? Uh, no, not really. You want to get into the uh, ED chat? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. We we also have like a new ending song. Um, uh, this this is the ninth ending. This is a uh, No Regret Life by Nakushita Kotoba. Um. This is, this is this is like you know this is like a fairly restrained uh, affair as like basically all of these uh, um basically like, like as a lot of the eds and like this part of Naruto are right like you know it's uh it's it's uh Tsuru and uh, Suzuki again um you know but like you know it's like it's like a pretty, pretty like a much lower kind of like conflict like oh here's like naruto and sakura being sad about sasuke being gone like that's just what's happening here we are again like you know obviously we already gave it away with the opening but we're like doing it again here in the ending it, it, there's like not a ton of like movement but like there, there are like a few bits of like you know sakura just like sitting in a boat and like kind of like very like slowly moving that like there's like a nice attention to detail up there at the very least but like I, I, I definitely think like the, the 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 main focus of the scene are like you know I, I guess maybe like Suru is like sort of playing around with like some of the like digital lighting effects and the like water effects and stuff just kind of like as like part of the sequence. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, did you have anything you want to say about this one? Uh, not particularly. I don't. I don't know. Like it, it, it just didn't really stand out to me in any particular yeah. way. Like I don't know. It's it's like kind of pretty. Mm-hmm. It, it is not the most standout one of these. 
I feel like we don't really get any like super big like standout EDs until we get into like Shippuden. That makes sense. I mean, I, I like the previous one a lot more. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Just because... there, there are definitely ones that have like clearer concepts and like better songs than the others or whatever, right? Yeah. 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 Um, like you know, better, better executed concepts. Like I mean, th- this is like fine. Like it's, it's doing what it's doing, but it's like you know, it's. Uh, if I was making a list, it probably probably wouldn't go anywhere that high on it. Nope. All right. Well, is is that it? I think that's it. That's the podcast. Okay. That's the podcast. It's kind of a long one. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh what are what are we watching next week? Next week we're watching episodes 130, 131, and 132 of Naruto. It's just fantastic. And hey, if you don't want to wait, you can check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Konoha Crush. All one word. Konoha Crush. For just three dollars a month, you get access to episodes up to a week early, and for five dollars, you get our bonus show, Naruka Uzumaki. Um, last month we covered season two of Sword Art Online, and next we're going to cover. So I'm a spider. So what? So you know, if you like the spider show, you should you should definitely check out our bonus show, Naruka Uzumaki. And I would also like to offer a very special thank you to our joining tier patrons. Maple, Izzy, Future Gentriki of the Six-Tailed Beast, and front of the show, Rive. Check out their streams at twitch.tv slash subspace skater. All one word, subspace skater. Any images we talk about during the show can be found in our Twitter, twitter.com slash Konoha Crush, all one word, Konoha Crush. We also have a Tumblr now, konohacrushcast.tumblr.com. And if you can't get enough of Ruby and I, I stream on Twitch, and Ruby's there a lot too. So check out the streams at twitch.tv slash GuinevereTeef, G-U-I-N-E-V-E-R-E-T-E-E-F, GuinevereTeef. Um, on Fridays, we play Monster Hunter. We're playing Monster Hunter Rise. And on Wednesdays, I'm playing through The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. If that sounds nice, you should definitely check me out. Um, uh, also, Thursdays I stream too. Um, usually that's more like kind of up in the air. I do a lot of like art streams on Thursdays. And, you know, on Saturdays we have the tabletop RPG game, Armister, with um, Rafe. And then also uh, our friend Lena and then my girlfriend Gray is uh, running that game. We've been on like kind of a hiatus um, because Gray's been like moving, but like. After the holidays, we're thinking of, like, probably picking that back up. So, like, that's pretty exciting. Um, and I think that's it. Do you have anything you want to shout out? Ah, uh, no, not really. Okay. Well, hey, thanks for listening. And remember, there's no such thing as filler. <laughs>